So you don't know much about Louisville, what's here, where everything is. I'm going to help you get your bearings right after this. I want to help you kind of figure out where everything is. Uh, I'm going to put myself in a little box here and get the map up, show you where stuff is. So right here is Louisville as a whole. Um, of course, it sits on the Ohio River, um, which runs up to Cincinnati. So it's mostly kind of north, northeast. But the part of Louisville that it sits in is right here where the river is more east to west. You cross over the river, you're in Indiana, right there, Jeffersonville, Indiana. So one thing about Louisville, as it sits on the river, there's no north end to Louisville. If you say North End, people are going to be like, you mean downtown? So, of course, downtown, this little area here, and it is the North End. There is stuff more north of there, of course, to the northeast, but there is a North End Cafe, just real quick, though. But that's like the only thing that I ever hear be referred to as the North End. So you've got I-65 that kind of bisects the city right there, south to Bullock County, north to Indiana. So when people talk about the west end of Louisville, they're talking kind of about this area within the Waterson to the west of I-65. So of course, this part out here is west as well but that's not the west end um not this area here um not referred to as the west end is definitely more densely populated urban property values are lower it has a stigma of being a place you want to avoid but it's definitely a lot more than that you know drive down um northwestern parkway and go to shawnee park and look at beautiful neighborhoods over there. Um, there are pockets that it is probably more dangerous than others, but just saying the West End is this is not accurate. The West End is a lot of things. So Louisville's built basically like spokes on a wheel. So I-71, you take this north, northeast, you go up to Oldham County, which is one of, if not the, uh, counties in, in Kentucky with the highest average property value. And then to go east, I-64. And of course, I-64, you can go west as well. You're in Indiana there again. And then um, you've got Shelby County due east, directly due east. And then all of these spokes are these major roads here, 60, that's Shelbyville Road. Goes to Shelbyville, of course, but it's got St. Matthews, Middletown, all along it. Uh, 42 up here, that's Brownsboro Road. Goes up to Oldham County. Uh, actually goes much farther than that. And that, you've got north um, neighborhoods like Indian Hills. Northfield goes out to... Um, the prospect area and then you get into places around Oldham County like Crestwood and things like that. If you're really thinking about coming to Louisville, don't forget to reach out, you know, um, call, email, text, of course, sound that bugle because I want to help make your move to Louisville a smooth one. Bardstown Road right here. You've got the Highlands right in this little area and then it goes down through Butuel to Fern Creek down to Mount Washington in Bullock County. Um, you've got a bunch of other ones like that too. Another one I want to point out, 31W right here. This is Dixie Highway, which you can take all the way down to Florida and as far north as maybe Maine, but I'm not sure. It is a long, long, long road. Dixie Highway 31W, and we call it Dixie Highway in, in Louisville. And then besides these spokes... You've got the two main interstate loops, I-264, around this way, and 
it is it used to be a little two lane in each direction thing but it's big it's it's five six lanes in some places um lot lots of traffic on it and then 265 this loop here that's the gene snyder expressway and that is two lanes in a lot of places although though they're widening it um you didn't hear it from me very few cops there high rates of speed on 265 out kind of in the boonies. it used to be the boonies but now you know you're hopping off i-265 you're in middletown which is hopping uh but there was a point in time when when it was a ghost town ghost town Rose Road. um the maintenance of it you know the 265 over this way my in-laws live down this way somewhere 265 this way it's like a real bumpy not like rough but like bouncy like you're like wow it's crazy i tell you so then some of the main areas you can see saint matthew's right here that is a major residential and commercial hub very very nice area with a lot of variety of homes and then i've got some videos about middletown too right along shelbyville road right there and saint matthew's Almost a suburban feel, but it, but it's still kind of within the city, especially when, whenever you're inside 264, that's kind of considered the old city. Middletown, a lot more suburban, um, houses not as, not as close together in some ways. Um, Jefferson Town, we don't call it Jefferson Town, we call it J-Town. You can see that's where I am right now. This is one of the largest residential areas in the entire city. There are a lot of homes and a lot of variety in there as well. Starter homes, big old homes, new construction, older, all kinds of stuff there. Um, this area, this is around where I live. You've got the Highlands on Bardstown Road. That is a really cool cultural hub, walkable, sidewalks, restaurants, shops, lots of entertainment, lots of dining, uh, a lot of cool sights, cool things to see. It's uh, it's really pretty interesting. Um, Bardstown Road, you head out this way, you get into Fern Creek, and that's it kind of borders J-Town. Fern Creek, another really big residential area. Um, Butuel, there's a lot of, of residents around there as well. Um the areas around I-65 right in here, like Audubon Park, that is a really nice little area. A lot of really um, cute homes, Cape Cods, different styles, really cute things like that. Um, as you get out further away from the city center, you've got a lot of... Um, just space you know when you're in here things are closer together when you're out here things things get a lot more spread out all right then over in the west this area right by inside and outside the waterson 264 that's shively um, there's been a lot of growth around there lately. Um, a lot of starter homes out there, but there's some really cool neighborhoods out there as well. Um, as you go out away, you get to places like Valley Station, a little more rural feel off Dixie. And then you've got PRP in here as well, which is Pleasure Ridge Park, but everybody just says PRP. Um, there's a lot of really cool things to see such as look at this this is jefferson memorial forest this is within jefferson county it is a for real forest it's a big old park um it's it might be one of the largest if not the largest urban forest it's really cool and then you've got all of our parks that are all around where you've got um out this way you've got um Iroquois Park, Cherokee and Seneca over here, um, Shawnee Park, which is over this way somewhere. I don't know exactly where that one is. 
Um, but the parks all connect now, um, especially some of these newer parks. There's a loop, a walking and biking loop that goes around the whole entire city. Um, one interesting thing here when we're talking loops see where 265 crosses the uh the river right there that's pretty new uh for a long time they were talking oh we need this east end bridge and you had i-265 in indiana you had i-265 in kentucky and then oh we need to do a study of where it is let's just connect them let's do it um essentially there's some money in that area and people didn't necessarily want a whole new thing of traffic come in there. Um, they actually tunneled under some neighborhoods in some parts. It's It was quite an engineering feat. It was really cool. Um, the uh, the Nulu area, which is something that, that I like talking about. So you've got downtown right here, but off to the, to the east, just downtown, you've got Nulu, New Louisville, which is kind of a newer... Uh, cultural district that has all kinds of stuff going on in it. It's really, really cool. Um, dining, bars, shopping, all kinds of stuff like that. It's really cool. And then as far as shopping, St. Matthew's has two huge malls, one on one side of 264, one on the other. And that's a huge shopping hub. And then there's also the Jefferson Mall, which is out off the outer loop which is, mm, it should be somewhere right around here. And there is the University of Louisville, which is kind of um, just past uh, Old Louisville. So Old Louisville is just south of downtown, right in here. And then you've got the University of Louisville right in there. Um, anything else you want to see about where it is in Louisville, drop a comment below. Um, if you're going to be in town, I'd love to take you on a tour. If you're really thinking about coming to Louisville, don't forget to reach out, you know, um, call, email, text, of course, sound that bugle. So I want to help make your move to Louisville a smooth one. <laughs>